1969. That's what year my boat is. 1969. Don't look too bad for being, well, almost 50 years old. Sunday evening. Spent the weekend with the fam. I think it's time to chase some more tigers. Us gonna be out tomorrow morning, possibly out with a uh, local legend. So we'll see. Uh, pretty sure that's happening. So we better catch that one too tomorrow. But today we got about four or five hours of the evening fish. I think we got a moon down coming up. So hopefully we can get some fish to bite today. Stay tuned. You good, man? Look, I've been running this thing all day and now it's still unstuck. You got enough juice to make it back or you need help? I don't know. I gotta go all the way around this bend to the park. Oh. Yeah. I Kinswas Campground Park? Yeah. Oh, you're camped on the other end of it? Damn. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. Oh. Well, Is that your motor maxed out right there? Is that your yeah. lect? <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you a pull, man. I'll give you a pull. So like usually this thing will just flood out and then like I wait for a little while and it fires up and then it goes. Ah, uh, your carb might be. Uh, your floats but sound like they're stuck. Your floats in there. It's probably is that a two-stroke, right? Yeah. Yeah, the oil tends to gum up the floats. You gotta clean them out every few months. That's what I do with mine. That way that don't happen to me on the water. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Plus, I keep throwing the tank up too. Well, not bad, you didn't gain it. Eh, shouldn't. Yeah, I'll give you a pull. I'm fishing tomorrow too, so muskies will bite eventually. At least catch fish, or were you fishing? Oh, you weren't fishing. No, not right now. We were, I'm supposed to be over there by now. We were gonna start fishing. Oh. I got all the kids waiting for him. Glad I didn't take the kids with me. <laughs> yeah. That's a good deal. That's a steal. That's how much I paid for the boat. I just repainted it and put seats in it. Yeah. Oh, you can if, if I start swaying towards the tree, but I think you should be all right. What's that? Uh, I just saw you on my way in and probably stopped in too. I live on the lake, so I'm out here every night. You're not the first person I've rescued. <laughs>
lost about, I don't know, 30 minutes of fishing, 45 minutes of fishing, pulling that dude, and then ended up yeah, going to school with all my cousins and stuff. Small world. But, anyways, got to help a fellow man on the lakes. Can't leave people stranded. Did my duty for the day. Better get him up, you know. <laughs> Stay tuned. That was a fish. Oh, I told you that was a fish. I knew it, dude. I fucking knew it. Oh, I knew it, dude. That was a fish chasing a minnow. I saw the minnow jumping across the water and got away. That was kind of cool. I saw this fish all of a sudden just jump out of the water and like dart across the water like 15 feet. Like it was amazing, it was like a little flying fish and I was like, dude, he could only have been running from one thing. So I threw this spinner over there, first cast, man. He hit the back of it, put a whole bunch of teeth marks in it. There, there, this has never been hit before. I just got this last year and haven't thrown it much. But, missed it. Boy, he didn't miss it, he hit the tail of it. But, he didn't get a hook in him. Keep trying. You know, just locking up the park. I don't know, about four four hours on the water. Uh, towed in a guy, so kind of wasted like 45 minutes doing that, but you gotta help your fellow fishermen on the water. Well, he wasn't a fisherman, but your fellow boaters, whatever. And after that, I went over to a little spot by the hatchery and saw a minnow kind of jump out of the water and just like, toot, 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 across the top. Never seen anything like that like ever in my life I've never I've seen fish jump but not jump and then like skip across the water like it was kind of crazy took one cast over there and boom something hit my spinner kind of made a boil in the water and looked like a good 40 inch muskie at least but she didn't get a hook in her so I didn't get her and then I probably spent another 45 minutes after that saw one other fish and then the sun went down so came home so uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.